everyone. Um, today I will be giving an explanation on what it is to lock in a price for a limited availability ship. Now there's, I know there's some confusion sometimes for newer players such as myself, which is actually why I'm making this video. Um, I had it explained to me where it's basically you do not currently own the ship that you are upgrading from to this limited edition ship. Well, I say limited edition, but limited of limited time availability. Some ships go on sale only for a certain amount of time, like the Caterpillar or the one I'll be showing today is the Merchantman. So it's how to get how to lock in that set price for what that ship will be later on down the line when it releases again. Because, such as with the Carrick, when it released, it was a much lower price than when it was finally released available to buy. So, the Merchantman currently, well, during the last sale, was... 310 320 or so dollars I believe so when it releases again since it's not actually implemented in game the price may go up which normally happens with the ships like this so I'll be showing you how when there's a limited availability ship that comes up that you may want that you might not have the money for right now to lock in that current price of that ship as it is during the time of the sale. So first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to head over here to the pledge store which I'm in right now and then you'll go to ship upgrades and uh, I apologize for having to change browsers for some reason uh, Chrome didn't want to seem to work. So when you get into ship upgrades you want to go to all ships. Now you want to make sure you're logged in as well just to make sure everything goes smoothly and then say you'll want to select a ship that is always available at any time. So that means you could go to the pledge store right now and let's say just to look like the uh, normally for high dollar ships you'll want to go for I can't spell you'll want to go for ships kinda close to that price range so Okay, there we go. The Aquila. It's always available at any time. So I could go in today, tomorrow, the next day, any day, and I can go and buy this ship and use it in-game. So when you come here, we'll go down to the Aquila. So you won't be paying this right now. What'll happen is, okay, so I can show you on this because the Merchantman isn't currently available, but you'll select the Argo Mole. The Argo Mole is one of those ones where it's only available for a specific amount of time. So currently right now it's available to buy, so you have the option to buy this, to get this upgrade right now if you wanted to. Now down here at the bottom, you'll see warning you do not own whatever ship it is that you are going to upgrade from. So, and also says you can buy this upgrade, but it will only be applicable on that ship, which means you will spend however much money it is to between the difference of those ships. Here it's $5. And then what'll happen is 
you'll get something that looks like this where you won't have an image for the ship but you'll have purchased the upgrade from this ship here to this ship here now over time if you slowly want to put more and more towards buying that ship say you can buy the for my ships right now I have the origin or I guess not no I have the cutlass red I upgraded from the origin to here so if I wanted to I could just go ahead and make this jump to have this ship and that upgrade will now be available to me when that ship goes for sale again at the price at this price so that's how you lock in this number right here right now the ship is three hundred fifteen dollars so when you eventually get to this ship say this ship was not released yet and it went up for sale again later this price may go up now since you've purchased this upgrade here for five dollars now as long as this ship stays at three hundred ten dollars this ship here can go up to five hundred dollars but you will still only pay three fifteen because you've locked in at this current upgrade it's a lot easier showing this way than going through a verbal explanation so once you purchase it you'll have something that looks like this if you do the mole it'll be for the Argo mole mine for the merchantman now once that ship comes around for sale again I've already paid for this here I'm not a hundred percent sure on this detail but it's either once you purchase the Aquila or whichever ship you are upgrading to I don't believe it'll automatically upgrade it's just like any other upgrade before where once you get this ship you'll come here you'll hit apply upgrade and you'll now own whichever ship that you're looking to get so in my case once I get the Aquila I'll be able to apply the upgrade and have the merchantman whether or not I can apply the upgrade right now while this ship is not for sale or I have to wait for the ship to go on sale again I'm not a hundred percent sure but with a little bit of research I'm sure we can figure that out or once I figure this out I can leave it down in the comments and I will let you know for sure but I just wanted to make this video to let you all know how to do this because I know it was extremely confusing for me trying to figure this out talking about locking in a price and CCU upgrades but that's how you do it so long story short even though you don't own this ship here you can still purchase the upgrade from this ship to this ship and this price will not change because this price does not change which will allow you to slowly make your way up to 
whatever ship you have here purchased and finally own this one to upgrade to this one. Okay. And thank you for watching, everybody. Um, I had to make a video on it eventually because it was driving me nuts not to. Uh, if there are any other things that maybe it's kind of complicated to explain, to understand, you can't quite find the right answers you're looking for, uh, let me know and I will see what I can find to make more videos on. Because a lot of times videos are made by people that understand the ins and outs of the game. So they explain it in a way they know, but you might quite not understand due to being new to a game. So I hope this helped you out. Um, any other questions you may have, let me know in the comments and I will try to check back whenever you need, whenever I have time or can find an answer. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by and I hope you all have a great day. Till next time, see ya.